All right, good morning, people of YouTube. So we are back again today with another fun deck profile. This time we have Lotmon Hybrid. So this is going to be a rushdown style deck focused on spamming a lot of bunnies, uh, putting a lot of pressure on your opponent's security through hybrid pressure, like evolving on top of tamers, while also having bodies that just stick to the board thanks to cards like Ofani Mon Fall Down Mode and mechanics like Armor Purge. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of the card choices. So for the eggs, you should be playing five, um, probably a 3-2 split. You want either three copies of Iximon or three copies of Upamon. I'm leaning more towards the Upamon. Um, it seems to be a little bit more consistent since I am not playing as many options as I was in the initial phases of testing this deck. Um, but Viximon is still really great. Um, it helps cards like win rate and um, memory boost and things like that. And Upa just gives you some consistency in the mid game. Sometimes the early game because of cards like Lotmon. But we'll go ahead and go into the Tamers with the Rookies because they both function the same purpose um, as far as being the low-end cards that you're evolving on top of. So we got three copies of TK because it's a yellow deck and TK is really good. We've got three copies of Tai and Kari because this card is very useful at padding your opponent's security. Um, letting cards like Antiwamon and Jet Sylphie, um, even Ophanimon Fall Down Mode survive against security is very, very nice. And if you can get like three of these on the board, you know, you can have situations where, like, even lot moms are surviving most of the time. That's pretty funny. This is the one tamer that you're usually never evolving on top of. And then the last tamer, we got four copies of Susie. So what Susie does is whenever you play her, you can play a lot mom. Uh, this even happens if you play this card out of security. Um, and at the start of your turn, if you have three or less security, you get to draw a card, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know... A good turn one play, evolve rookie in the back, play a Susie, play a Lotmon. You're now set up, you have two rookies and then a Susie that can evolve into a hybrid, and you're uh, pressuring three security check on your opponent's, or on your second turn, and that's kind of insane. This card is great at getting bodies in play, as well as just evolving on top of, so. Only ten tamers, um, it's a little bit less than you'd see in typical hybrid style decks, but this is not only a hybrid style deck, so we get away with it. For the rookies, we got four copies of starter deck Lotmon. Uh, this is just a beater. 4,000 DP is not bad for a rookie, but other than that, it's a, just a vanilla. We got four copies of the BT4 Lotmon. On play, you can look at your security, your top security. If it's a card that you want to add to your hand, you can. And if you do, you get to draw a card. So this is really great because it lowers your security manually um, so that it gets you in range of all your recovery effects. Also, it's a plus two. So... This card also combos really nicely with the next Lotmon, which is on play if you have three or fewer security recovery plus one. So, kind of what I was talking about. You want to just flood the body or flood the board with bodies, uh, keep your security at a nice healthy amount, and then just kind of tempo your opponent. The last yellow rookie we're playing is two copies of the Salomon that recovers on deletion. I really do like this card. Um, it helps in the mid game, and it's just another good yellow rookie to evolve in the back. The last rookie we are playing, however, is a single copy of Boko. Um, if you can get this card to stick, you can get a bunch of value off of evolving off of Tamers. And even if you know you're set to your three memory, you play the Boko, you search a Tamer and a hybrid, you evolve your TK for free, swing with that hybrid, and then end your turn by playing another Tamer. Seems pretty good to me. Um, it's a white card, and I can't evolve it in the back, so that's the reason I'm only playing one copy of it. Um, because we do want to keep some of the Lotmons in hand so that we can slam them down with Susie. So, those are our rookies in the lineup. Going on to the level fours. We've got four copies of Kaze and just three copies of Zephyr. Um, I'm not playing, like, a crap ton of Tamers. So, I feel like the seven hybrids is enough. Um, and yeah, seven hybrids is enough. You just want to evolve, slam into your opponent. It's pretty nice. The last level fours we are playing are two copies of Magna and two copies of Rapid. So armors are really great because it, they're a little bit harder to remove. Um, you have to typically kill them twice. This is the card that you're not usually going to evolve on top of. And uh, Rapid Mom can help clear boards as well as take a big, a big DP Digimon that's unsuspended 
uh, suspend it and get it into range where you can potentially swing over it. And Magna is just great as a blocker, as well as just unsuspending to get an additional swing in. Um, this card is also the main target that you're bringing back with the Ofani Mon fall down mode. Um, it's this card, and it's going to be the uh, the Lotmon that recovers. So these cards are absolutely phenomenal. I do I do love this level four lineup. The hybrids provide a lot of value as far as just defensive. Um, bodies that you can swing with for with no regrets and i i do really like the function that they add to the deck so going into the level fives you'll notice this number is pretty small we got the one jet selfie and the three antila so for those of you that don't know if you have Susie in play you can evolve antila on top of a lot mon for just three memory and then once per turn when you attack you can trash your top security to unsuspend this digimon so in certain matchups like D Brigade, um, and matchups where your opponent's security is kind is kind of like weak DP, you can activate this win attacking effect and not really care and just get double swings, and that's pretty nice. But most of the time you're not using the win attacking effect. A lot of the times what this card will do is it'll evolve on top of a lot mom for just three memory, and then you can go into like a fall down mode on top of this. It's really nice. Um, it can provide extra aggression if you need it to, and on top of that, it's just a big bunny. Big bunnies are good. So, those are our four level fives. I'm actually considering dropping an Antila for either another rookie or another option, um, but that's something that I will do with more testing of the deck. So, going into the level sixes, we just played three of them. We got the two copies of a Fani Mon fall down mode. This card's great, it recovers. And if it dies, then you get to play back something. So playing back a Magna or a Lotmon um, is absolutely phenomenal. And just recovering when you evolve is also great because it helps you uh, maintain your life total so that you can keep pushing the, uh, pushing the aggression. The last level six is the single copy of Dynas. This card combos really well with a lot of our own effects. We have a lot of effects that are removing our own security. So this card can help us replenish with that. It also has the functionality of like shutting Blue Flare or Cross Heart or some of those matchups down in their tracks by making it so that way if they're chipping one at a time, you're recovering at least once, and that's really phenomenal. It also gets a bunch of cards in your hand, sets up your trash for Susano plays. Dynas is really good, and I go back and forth between swapping uh, it for two Dynas and one Ofani versus the ratio that I have before you. Um, I do think the Ofani mod is generally a little bit more consistent into more of the matchups that you're going to face in the BT10 and EX3 format. However, in BT11, um, we might find a shift to Dynas. So testing will tell, but I do really like both of these level sixes. They're absolutely phenomenal for what this deck wants to do. The last Digimon we're playing is the single copy of Susan. Um, resetting your trash is great. Getting a free pop is great. Having a 15k body that can kill something or kill an entire opponent's security stack is also great. Uh, Susan is just phenomenal, and it's worth the one of slot in this list. Going into the options to close out. So I didn't do this on purpose, um, and I apologize in the in advance for the people that this bothers, but this is a bunch of one ofs. We got the one copy of Reinforcing, because I'm only allowed to play one. The one copy of Sunrise, because I'm only allowed to play one. I wanted to play two of each of these, so I added a Yellow Memory Boost and a Wyvern's Breath. Um, Wyvern's Breath is great, because it can actually delete Death Exmon, which can give this deck a bit of trouble. Um, and I wanted to play this over uh, Lonky, just, uh, just to have the potential answer against Death X in a list like this. And then the last two options, we got one copy of Offensive Plug-in A, because it's really great in combination with Antilamon, uh, the Viximon Egg, um, any of your armors. This card is just absolutely phenomenal. It's great in security. It's just an all-round good card. I do like the Offensive Plug-in A, and earlier versions of this list were playing more copies of this. Also, a card that I was playing more copies of in earlier versions of lists. Uh, is win rate 60%, because going into Magnamon or Rapid for cheap is very good. Um, you can activate this, draw off Vixie, and then discard, and the discarding is 
kind of free. Um, you draw a lot of cards in this deck between Lotmon, between Susie, between Vixie. Uh, discarding is not really a hindrance in this, and you can even get into situations where you can just win rate and then reduce Susan by a bunch and go into Susan for like just five, and that's pretty funny. Um, you can also go into the Ofani for free um, and do a bunch of just kind of crazy plays with this. I do really like the win rate, but I did cut it down to make room for more rookies in this list because I did want to have more bodies that stuck to my board. But that's the list, everybody. It's a very aggressive deck. You are just playing bunnies and smacking your opponent in the jaw. So I hope you guys like the style of content. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you do. Um, we will be bringing you a probably Lotmon armor list uh, because the armors are just really cool. Uh, playing like four Magna, four Rapid, and then having a Magnamon X top end. Um, seems like it would be a neat profile to do on the channel. And then after that, we're probably going to be doing just BT11 content. So hope you guys stick around for that. Uh, like and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.